Long table under the 2017 banner. My first table in Commons. During orientation week, we all ate our meals with our JA groups at a designated table, and this table near the windows was Parker Thirds. All week, I looked around Commons, anxiously awaiting the day I would get to decide where to sit. Would I sit near the windows? Near the entrance? In the green room? Would I sit off to the sides or in the middle of the action? And what was this balcony area we weren't allowed to go to? I bet the cool kids sit there. Would my table be rectangular, round, wooden, or whatever the non-wooden ones are made out of? The possibilities seemed endless, and I was ready to explore every option in pursuit of the table that was right for me. In my first year, I ate a lot of meals on the balcony, as I'm sure many of you did as well. As it turned out, the balcony was not as popular as I had originally thought. That's probably because of the stairs. Every time I walked up them, I held my breath. Careful not to drop a cup. Careful not to be seen. For most of my sophomore year, I ate anywhere my friends were. There was no particular spot that I preferred. I just waited for that text in the group chat. Table behind the third pole. Circle table under 2019. Or had to go upstairs again. Ugh. At some point, and I can't pinpoint when, I no longer needed to wait for the text telling me where to go. I would just walk to Commons, scan my ID, head straight until I reached the balcony staircase, and turn right. In that cluster of circular tables by the windows, there was always someone for me to eat with. Every time I reached these tables, I exhaled, ready to drop my stuff, ready to be seen. One morning this past September, I was feeling overwhelmed with thesis, missing friends who had graduated, and I just needed a break. The transition to senior year was more difficult than I expected. I entered a commons that no longer felt like my own, walked until I reached the balcony staircase, turned right, and continued past the cluster of circular tables by the windows. I wanted to be alone. I sat down at the long table under the now 2020 banner, my first table in commons. Within five minutes, without my asking, three of my closest friends were there with me, ready to talk, ready to cheer me up. It didn't matter where I was sitting. My friends still saw me. I always thought that college was going to change me. I thought I was going to completely reinvent myself at Bates and discover some hidden truth about who I am that would finally make me happy and confident. I was convinced I would suddenly love nature and become insanely athletic. As it turns out, I am leaving Bates as the theater-loving math nerd that I've always been. And yet, I've grown so much. Bates taught me how to accept and celebrate myself for who I am. And I've learned that with that acceptance comes so much love and joy. On that September morning, I realized that the cluster of circle tables by the windows did not define me. Rather, they gave me a space to speak to new people, learn from my friends, and explore outside of my comfort zone. But when I returned to the long table under the 2020 banner, I took my friends, new knowledge, and new experiences with me. I am still me, and I am more confident and comfortable being myself than I ever have been before. Now, there are no commons tables. Only my childhood kitchen table and maybe one day a table in an apartment once all of this is over. But it doesn't matter. I am still seen. I text, FaceTime, and Zoom with the people who defined my experience at Bates. No matter the table, we have each other forever.